leonardo.ai. It is one of the most interesting and capable tools in the AI space. In this video, I'm going to go through everything you can do in the Leonardo AI's Canvas Editor, from the basics to advanced techniques. If you want to watch my previous videos of Leonardo.ai, visit my playlist section where I've covered everything in Leonardo.ai. So come to Leonardo.ai and click on AI Canvas. Once you're right here, to select an image to edit in Leonardo.ai's Canvas Editor, just click on Upload Image from a computer. You can also upload image by going to the community feed and clicking on an image. For example, I want to edit this image right here. I'll click on the image and then I will click on these three dots and click on edit in canvas. Once the image is opened up, just click on the image and decrease the size so that it comes equal to the bounding box. Now you can just zoom in by pressing in this plus button. Click on the hand to change the direction of the whole canvas. Now click on this select option back. You can place the bounding box right here and then write similar atmosphere, clouds, structure. So I do not want clouds, I want structure. Now just click on generate. You can select fine tune model from right here. Just select the fine tune model which you think is going to do well with the image. So with this I am going to do RPG V5 and click on generate. As you can see it exactly generated the same atmosphere and the clouds and whatever the mountains and all. Now just select one image and click on accept and do the same thing with the other part of the image. As you can see the complete image has been generated. Now let's try completing the bottom part of the image by adding some different atmosphere and different legs to the image. As you can see I wrote similar atmosphere legs of the girl wearing black suit and this these are some of the images that were generated and out of these I think this is a bit okay so I'm going to click on accept right here. Now I'll complete the whole image. Finally to download the image just click on this arrow download artwork and once you click on this it will be saved in your PC. Now that you know how to expand a single image we are going to connect multiple images in the canvas editor. I've downloaded a bunch of images on my PC so I'm going to go to upload image from a computer. And I'm going to select all these images which I have downloaded and click on open. As you can see all the images have been opened up. Now I'll decrease the size of all the images. I mainly want to connect these two images so or maybe this and this so I'm going to decrease the size increase the size actually and place the images according to where I want to arrange them so the wolf will be standing on this side and this girl will be standing right here all right to connect these images I'm going to erase some parts of the images so I'll erase this part and also this part of the image and now I'm going to give the images a bit of a gap place the bounding box right here and click on similar atmosphere I will just write similar atmosphere and then let's see what kind of uh, an image does it generate. For this I should select probably RPG5 will be okay. Alright to generate this I wrote similar atmosphere an open cabin connected to a forest. So this is what it came up with and I clicked on accept. Now I will complete the whole image 
by going right here it's not for some reason it's not snapping at the right place all right i'll click on generate now so this is what the image looks like now to download the image do the same thing click on this arrow these are the next two images that i'm going to use and i'm going to connect the two images so just looking at this mountain range let's arrange it in a way that it looks really natural all right i think this should be okay the level looks just fine now if i just place the bounding box like this and then write similar structure i have written similar structure mountains landscape buildings and i'll click on generate and see what kind of an image does it come up with if you look at the image there is a line in between the both images this is because we didn't erase the images so to efficiently draw anything you need to erase some part of the images from both the sides as you can see right here i'm doing it and then select a fine tune model i'm going to select dream shaper v6 and try this out it has generated all these images and now as you can see the images are perfectly blended in and connected this image looks pretty good we can edit this part later on so clicking on accept now if you see the line that divides the image from the mountains and the sky is almost at the same level now we'll do the same thing in the bottom part right here as you can see the perspective is pretty good and i want to have the same perspective in the whole image i'm really happy with this part of the image now i'll show you how i generated the image so going to ai image generation this is the prompt that i used i used alchemy to generate all these images i generated multiple images and then i blended in few images that i found were really good so this is uh, how i generated these images i didn't pick it from the community feed so it's not necessary to pick images from the community feed if you want to generate something specific you can generate it on your own by writing your own prompt and then blending in multiple images to generate something really amazing now suppose you do not like this part of the image you can erase this part and then bring the bounding box on top and write something like advanced rocket on a rocket pad space station and i have given the shape of a rocket when i erase the image let's see i am not happy with these images so i'll click on cancel and erase a bigger part these images are much better i think i will go with this one right here this looks pretty good um this also looks good i can also go with this so i'll click on accept and then i want to generate some similar structure and sky right here so i will write similar structure mountains and sky I'm really happy with the final result. So these are some ways you can have fun with the canvas editor and create some amazing looking images by blending in multiple images of your own choice into one. This was it for the video. If you like the video then subscribe to the channel and if you want me to create more such videos of leonardo.ai's canvas editor then write in the comment section down below.
I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.